Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers, and we're up against Pate 7. We will keep this hand. We got all our mana, we got a heart, we got a Viverlin, and we got two lead the Stampede, so I'm feeling pretty good with that. Uh, Core Soldier. It's, as long as it uh, is equipped, it gets plus one, plus one flying. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. We keep getting more mana. Kind of want more gas, but lead the stampede's coming soon enough. Let's find out more about their deck here. Red. Lovely. We'll be playing red next turn, too. Swing? Swing? No swing? What you got for me? Ancestral Blade. When it enters the battlefield, create a one, then attach the blade to it. Mm, there goes our attack next turn. It's a bit unfortunate. Kind of wanted them to swing in, and then we could swing in for a couple poisonous, but we're going to have to play a little bit more patient. It's fine. It's fine. Boros enchantments, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Mm. Choices. I think we're just going to go predatory. We'll wait for that drop on the heart sliver. Really get him. When the time is right. If they let it through. Let me go to combat, because I'm not going to attack. Just going to pass the turn right back. See what other cards you get. Another planes, sure. Swinging in with the 2-2, two, two, sure. Sure, sure. What's the follow-up? Seeker. Makes sense. Another predatory. Hmm. I think I'm going to lead the stampede. I want to set up to play a couple things next turn. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Two sidewinders, a sentinel, and a jemmy. Do we need the jemmy? Hmm. I think we do. So do we need sentinel? Next turn... We can go gem into haste into lord into sentinel into side into side. We can empty our whole hand. I don't want to get rid of anything. Maybe we get rid of lead the stampede. Don't really want to do that either. But I kind of like everything we have going here. Hmm. Take the risk on the lead the stampede or dump the forest and hope for another land. We could, conversely, go just three lands, gem hide, heart, play out our lord, play out a sidewinder, dump the land, keep everything else. Hmm, that is the safer bet. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to do that. And if we draw a forest or if we draw whatever, if we draw any land, we'll be cake. Gaining some life. Three cards in hand. Bone Splitter! Here we go. Lots of damage getting hit on me. 
and have fun. Attach it to the apprentice. That's a lot. That's a lot. Don't like it. Take a nine. <laughs> I don't know about all that. We'll take nine for this turn. I don't know if it's a good idea. I'm not convinced. We got to deal with this guy, though. All right. Let's, uh, let's do our thing. Come on. Okay, it comes down. I am going to tap like this, just in case they want to do a kill spell on something. Okay. Now he does the kill. On my heart. I'm just going to be chump blocking next turn. I'm going to chump block your seeker. Uh, I'm going to take six and hope to not die. I can do any a lot of things. Get them all out. And we got to just hope and pray. <laughs> That's all we're doing. They got one card in hand. They're going to draw into another. And I mean, if they can, they don't need much to kill us here. They don't need much. They could have it in the bag with like a lightning bolt or something. Blocking the seeker. Best draw would be like a Viverlint, just off the rip. That would be the best draw. Like, they swing out here. We chump block the Seeker. They can't kill us. And then what are they Then what are they holding up? They gotta be uh, having a blocker. Uh, Flare Husk, okay. And they can equip it. Make the apprentice a 5 3. Let your own thing resolve, bro. Let it resolve. Not waiting on me. So will he go for the equip? Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, then the controls... Wait a second. Two protection from... Hmm? Well, that's, that's game. That's game right there. That's game right there. Right? Or no, not quite. They have zero cards. I can hit this for eight. And then this thing, let me read this again. If you cast it anytime a sorcery has been cast, a controller of the permanent, it becomes sacrificed at the next chant creature. And then they equip this. Okay, so they got it. Five, nine. Okay, cool. Let's make sure they attack it. And nothing we can do about it. All right, good game. Maybe I went too hard, emptying my hand. Hmm. Swift. Gleeful. Spinneret. Dump aside. 
Dump on. No, I want the hunt. Dump a winding. I think we can get away with dumping one gem. I think we can get away with dumping both sentinels. And striking? I'm fine with that. Let's do that. Let's run it like that. See what happens. Interesting deck. It's just like Boros, Heroic, Enchantments. Some kind of Modge Podge. Interesting. Could bring in Prismatic. Maybe I should... Um... Maybe I should bring in Prismatic over Gleeful. Might have been better. I don't know. Come on, Pate. Waiting on you, bud. Let's do this. Kids are screaming in the background still. I gotta go pee. Pause the movie. Pause it. All right. Let's see how we can do here. We will take the play. We will mulligan. Uh, we will keep. And we will... Let's see here. We're gonna go thriving into uh, I think I'll keep my gem mm, no we don't really need it a whole lot do we no I'll dump my gem I'll dump it thriving we'll call red just in case since our since we cut our gem hide we might as well have our, our red covered just in case Planes to start, and the apprentice is back. Viverlance. All right, that's not too bad, actually. Uh, so we can go here, and we can go here. He's slow at letting my stuff resolve when he's tapped out. Onwards to you, Pate. Yeah, you red. Nope, double planes. All right. Someone's mana isn't the best, but we could see a seeker here. Thraben, interesting. Gotta get that card draw, I guess. Benevolent bodyguard. Oh. I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a minute. How nice. Oh, we keep getting lords. That's not too bad. Let's drop them and get in there. Boom, bang, bang. No blocks, two poisonous, four damage. Let's go. We're ra we're racing now. We're just gonna keep dropping lords. We'll hit that uh, plated when we get a third land. Just gonna keep doing the lords. Gain a life. You're gonna need it. They did get the red though. That is problematic. So honestly, best draw here would be a land. Oh, journey me, frick. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I was gonna say best. Uh, Best plan would be to get a land so we could play a Plated Predatory, get past a Lightning Bolt. But they just took my boy. Unfortunate. 
And now they're holding back. Guess what? We got more. We just keep drawing them. What you think? Let me move. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, we can still attack in. Let's go. Hitting for four more and two poisonous more. Four poisonous on the count. So now we got to see if they hold up a lightning bolt for our predatory. And then we're going to be like, oh, we have another one in our hand. There he is. Look at that. Flare husk. Sure. I like all these little one ones though right now. It's letting us attack in every turn. Two cards in hand. Getting bold? He's getting bold. Oh, he's getting real bold. Interesting. Well, there's that. Get that extra defense going now. What? What? Bang. Get in there. I believe they don't have any more removal right now, currently. Not that they could play it, but I think uh, I think they're out of their removal. Two removal, lightning bolt, journey. If they've got more, it'd be surprising. Flanking on stack. See you later. Flus cater. Feel free to equip that whenever you feel the need. We're just going to rack up that poisonous. Low damage is killing them quicker than the poisonous is right now. Did they drop a land. They dropped a land, didn't they? Good. Sure. You got a 3 3. Congrats. Now don't attack with it. Don't be bold. I'm putting down a lord next turn. I can swing into that. Even right now I can swing into that. It doesn't really matter. You gotta take out my flanker. Flanker's doing work. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's nasty. You ready for this? Do you have one more removal? Did you get one more? Tell me. You gotta do it now if you did. Otherwise you're gonna be without hope in a second. Oh, he did. He found more. Okay. Fair enough. Boop. We got a Viverlint. Boop. Double poisonous coming at ya. There we go. That dirty boy, he had the removal. Gotta start blocking. You gotta block at least one. You don't have to use your apprentice if you don't want to. Sack Benevolent. What you think? Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Flanking takes place. Let's see if he... I think if he sacks his Benevolent after this first Viverlint flanking, then yeah, he might not get the flanking on this, if I'm correct. I was kind of hoping for a misplay on that. Or does it still take effect? I don't think it does. Oh, it does still. Mm, it does. Didn't work out how he wanted it to, but he keeps his apprentice. I was thinking if it's on the stack and you hit it before the stack, you might it might be able to affect, but I guess it's not. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It's protection from white, 
but if it's an effect from a white creature like flanking, it doesn't affect it with protection. It'll still go through. Uh, Flame Champion. Interesting. That's the one that we got to be worried about. Plus two, plus two for each aura and, aura and equipment. I mean, he's at seven poisonous, so now even if he uh, stacks this champion, it's just it's just game. We're going to go to game three, see how it goes. See if we can do another race. More to light. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Green, sure. Doesn't really matter. That's a wrap. You don't have first strike. You just have trample. We're playing it out. There you go. You can deal with that four poisonous however you feel, but it's still going to hit you. Don't even have to take a bite into my winding way. Yeah, you're just done. Sure. I don't I don't if he does this, I mean it's goofy. I mean he's dead either way. I don't I don't think he realizes it. We got double poisonous. Alright. We gotta play into this guy's uh unknowingness about uh poisonous, I guess. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, you're dead. Game three. Come on. He's <laughs> taking his time figuring this one out. All right, you ready? Everything is gonna die, and you are gonna die. One, two, three, game over. All right, sideboard time again. Do we want to do the prismatic play? Hmm. I don't have a lot of strong stuff, but I think I just want to run it back as is. I don't know. I'm just going to run it back as is. I think we can just race them. I mean, from what we've seen, we just got to make sure we set up a little bit quicker than them and we'll be fine. All right. What do we got? Well, we got a hand with some sideboard tech. We'll keep this. Bone splitter straight away. See, Gleeful can at least hit that. Swift response, huh? Hmm. I think... Do I want to wait on the Thriving Grove? I think I'm going to wait on Thriving Grove. We don't need it quite yet. I want to be able to potentially get another creature out next turn if it's a one drop. So I'm going to either go Gem Hide or Predatory here, depending on what our draw is. What are you? When it dies, you gain three life. Sure. No creatures yet. All right, beautiful. So we can go Gemmy into side into a decent setup get a, if they don't have any creatures we'll drop a lord we'll uh start swinging in they don't have red mana yet which is good bodyguard into into what do you have your little red boy sitting in your hand that you can't play i wonder i wonder 
equip him? Sure. That's... that's okay, sure. <laughs> that's funny. All right, he's he doesn't have a whole lot right now. <laughs> Uh, we will call red just in case. So we will put down a lord. And... He becomes a three. Goofball three. We can just put down another lord. And then I can swing in. So, you're going to gain some life, but we're going to get rid of your creature, if you want. Alright, cool. And we've got two good cards just to deal with anything. We will probably... We're going to hold off. We're not in a, a bad spot at all right now, so... Just depends on what they put down. If they put down a good creature that we can't really deal with, like the sky guy, the flyer, then uh, that might be problem problematic. But we can take away this curse of change too. Honestly, that's probably our best bet right now. Just eliminate curse of chains. It's too bad it's at upkeep, and we can't do this gleeful now. But it's not the worst thing. Curse is... It's not super effective against our lords. We're still buffing the whole team. Yeah, it's one creature that can't attack in, but... It's not, like, the best. <laughs> Another Bone Splitter. Okay. Oh, I should have tapped him first. Uh, lead the Stampede is pretty nice. But, I mean, we can just swing here, get a lot of damage in on him, and then refill. Set up for a nasty turn. Goodbye. And... Hello. Double Viverlint. It's your worst nightmare. Any order. Go. Go. Yep, he's tapped. It's okay. It's alright. We've already got the lethal. There's the apprentice. Sure, stack him up. Do what you want. Sure. Now I'm just going to kill the equipment. Ooh, muscle. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna play creatures. Alright, what are we hitting for here? Enough? Alright, beautiful. Peace! GG's. You got me first game. More prepared, second game. Bye. And we're good. And this triggers after. Doesn't trigger right away. Or did we just hit him for enough? Doesn't matter. We got it. So leave a like if you enjoyed that one. Make sure to subscribe. Appreciate the support. And uh, stay tuned for more Slivers next week. Thank you guys. We will see you in the next video.